Alright, hey, what's up everyone? It's Mark. I'm up here in East Hampton um, visiting some family and you know I come up here uh, several times a year and when most people think about the Hamptons they're thinking about these like obnoxious or over-the-top um, estates and ridiculous real estate and things that are just, you know, just stuff that you mainly just see on TV when you're thinking of like rich, famous celebrities, that type of thing. But there's a lot more to the Hamptons than that. Um, Hamptons is actually a really heavily wooded area. There's a ton of state parks. Um, there's a ton of really cool things that you can check out up here that nobody knows about, really, unless you're a local um, and you know, and someone's kind of told you about those. So I'm gonna go over a couple of those in the next few videos. I actually just got back from a run there right now. It's called Cedar um, Cedar Point Park. Um, it's this awesome little peninsula on the tip of East Hampton. It's heavily wooded. You can go running through trails in the woods with wild turkey running around and then next thing you know you're on top of a bluff looking over a 75 foot drop down into the ocean. Um, you can run out onto the beach. But one of the cool things about Cedar Island or Cedar Point is the lighthouse out there. The Cedar what used to be known as the Cedar Island Lighthouse but is now Cedar Point Lighthouse. Um, so I'm going to go over that uh, with some aerial footage just showing the lighthouse and how it went from being an island to part of the peninsula. So check them out. Long Island, New York. America's fastest growing community. Home. Place of business. Playground for the millions who live in Nassau and Suffolk counties. And this is our story. So as you can tell, this isn't your normal, typical park, especially not what you normally think of when you get to the Hamptons. These trails here lead up to the bluff that overlooks a beach that's completely deserted even in the middle of July. This bluff trail goes for a few miles along the coast and eventually spits you out down on the beach, or at sea level, I should say. But the views up here are definitely worth the trip up here. Completely unspoiled and completely deserted. So this is my preferred route to go out to the point that takes you out to the Cedar Island Lighthouse. And now this is the actual peninsula that goes out to the lighthouse. So this peninsula didn't exist prior to the hurricane of 1938, which filled this in permanently. This area at the tip here used to be an actual island where the lighthouse is located. The hurricane created this permanent sandbar that now connects this to Cedar Point Park, hence the name. So now this lighthouse, which was on an island, is now part of East Hampton. It's right at the entrance to Sag Harbor, looking out across over to Shelter Island. And now for some actual history of the lighthouse, I'm gonna turn it over to a video that's a few years old for the restoration of the lighthouse. I don't think most people realize, people in St. Harvard realize that they have a lighthouse. And it's part of the town of East Hampton, but it's also the entrance to St. Harbor. And unless you're, the boating community in St. Harbor does understand it, but we're bringing this to a much broader community. This is at the entrance to the harbor for uh, Sag Harbor, which was a huge whaling port in the uh, early 1800s. It was a port of entry for the U.S. very early on and in 1789 was designated an official port of entry. At that point, it really was in competition for the amount of trade to New York City. And people don't real understand, I think, the importance of a lighthouse, of course, to a harbor in those early days. The first lighthouse, the predecessor lighthouse, was built in the, in the 1830s, and it was, it was constructed of wood.
we do have a, a drawing of the old lighthouse and the, new, and the current lighthouse that when it was under construction. about covers it for this extremely high level and brief overview of the park and the lighthouse i highly recommend checking it out if you're on long island or in the hamptons you can go there in the middle of the summer the beaches are empty and they're totally clean and it's a great a great walk out to the lighthouse uh, it's definitely something unique and something you don't see every day